what to do next when you had learned HTML, CSS, jQuery, JavaScript, and PHP. What to do next? First, let me read the question and then I'm going to answer the question. What to do next? So the question is that. Hey Jimmy, I have learned HTML, CSS, JavaScript, jQuery and currently learning PHP and MySQL. After I am done, what I am wondering what to do next. What will be the next step? Number one, if you already know the basic of web programming, HTML, CSS, JavaScript and then you already know the dynamic web programming which is php or it can be like python or ruby or the next type is learning ui ux responses web design these are the two books to buy buy the mobile web developer guy if your website your web app should be mobile friendly and then get the best ui ux book written ever don't make me think don't make me think but these kind of stuff you can learn within one week so i'm not assuming that i mean you are asking what programming language you should learn you really don't know what to do with your knowledge the, the downside of the new generation is that the downside of the free knowledge is that the downside of the ease is that i don't know whether you learn by a programming bootcamp or you buy your own the the question i'm trying to ask you is that why you are even asking me first question in first place what to do next why you didn't send me a prototype of your web app try to create something you're too dumb as even i have included the link in the description box below of ideas watch here you can have six thousand ideas of your startup of your web app you need to be creative you don't have brain try to buy some brain try to i do not care whatever do try to get some kind of brain even you can get a donkey brain in your soul if you can make it through i really do not care you really need passion the, i mean the problem is that a lot of students even i receive a lot of emails sometimes i really do not want to answer because i mean some question is dumb mess i mean this question not really dumb mess the i mean you are really confused you asking me this question but i really receive i mean some i mean logical authentic question i have just completed my programming bootcamp what to do next i don't know what is my next step your next step can be two things Number one, build your portfolio. Number two, get a job. Another, this is our first step. I mean, number one is build your portfolio, get a job. I mean, and the step, the second step will be like build a portfolio. Build a portfolio. Again, if you don't want to get a job, I mean, the second step is that you don't want to get a job, right? The second step have like step, sub step. It have two sub step. Build a portfolio. Build a portfolio. Are you getting what I'm saying? Build a portfolio. Build a portfolio. Build some freaking dynamic web app i'm not going to say that you're going to build the next facebook i'm not going to say that you're going to take down the microsoft i'm not going to say that you're going to build the next snapchat instagram viber skype i'm not going to say that you're going to build the next uh, zap or ebay whatever you wanna build i'm not going to say that you're going to build the element i mean 14 i'm not going to say that you are going to become the e-commerce king i'm not going to say that you're going to build the next spice work i'm not even going to say that you're going to build like some kind of i mean middle or small i mean web average you can really generate the re re revenue globally I'm just saying that build some kind of freaking website, build some kind of freaking web app which you can put on your resume or at least you can earn some kind of revenue and the pay off your bill. I need a prototype, I don't need excuse. You are giving me an excuse what to do next. I'm not your father, I'm not your daddy, I'm not your uncle, I'm not your brother, I'm not good, going to come over your shoulder and they're going to pass. Well done son. Now you should do next. I am not that. I'm Jimmy a Geek. I'm just going to be brutal. I'm going to be a critic of you if you are going to ask me this question. If you're learning something new, then you can ask me that which programming language should I start with? It makes sense when you already have the knowledge. I mean, the people don't understand. While you're learning, you do not learn the programming language. You learn the soft skill. You get bazillion ideas with your new knowledge. What you can do? I mean. Whatever we learn during that process, we are getting billions of ideas with our knowledge, what we can achieve, what we can conquer, right? So here's one thing. Send me the email, send me some kind of prototype, uh, prototype website, send me some kind of web of something you are building, start working now within one week, I want to see the prototype after you had watched my video. If not, you are a failure.
go to in front of the mirror see on your head is the failure written definitely the problem will be that the failure will be not visible it it will be like an invisible failure to be on if written on your head i don't want you to be fail but if you are going to fail no one is going to stop you i'm not going to say that you are going to conquer something big but i'm going to say that do not give up do not try to ask question do more work when you are stuck with your some kind of new website web app asking me the question at that time why i am so brutal here because i received these kind of similar emails a lot a lot of people learn a new skill and then they ask me what to do next the next thing is to build a simple freaking website build a portfolio it's me and then email me your question if you have any question at gmail geek at gmail dot com it's me gmail geek bye